All right, I'll set these aside. This aside. It's over here. What? What did you mean? The fairness doctrine. I don't know. I, I didn't read it. I'm not going to get into reading that right now. Try to discuss some government concept and read all these long papers. Main thing this is for reading of these is to encourage you that there's people out there that love me and hate me, and uh, and we have to be hated. Uh, I got a whole stack of letters I can't read. Too many of them. <coughs> And, uh, gosh, I got a whole slew of them. I'm not able to get to them all. I won't read them right now. I'll set them over here aside. I did get a, I will say this, I got from England, I got a letter from, uh, from Peter Barber, uh, Dear Jim Mary Family. Hi to all from England with thanks for your continual walking in truth uh, that has all the elect become more and more conformed to Christ's image and narrows our minds to become single. I'm still, well that's hard to read. Oh, looking, I'm still something a job as they all scarce at 58 something uh, with a criminal record makes it something. This being said, my, this is hard to read. I can't read that. It's just so small. I close my tithe. Uh, it's hard to read. It's just too hard. That'll be enough reading for right now. Okay. All right. Let me remind you. Don't forget our... our uh, we have many poor and needy that are struggling to live and stay alive and they need our help and we're talking about needy believers that barely get by on anywhere from $480 a month up to 1100 a month and that's all these people have and they're trying to live and they're having an extremely difficult time living and uh, they need our help. Uh, so be, if you want to give food cards for these people, they're really struggling. And if you want to give food cards, you can pick them up at Walmart or Visa or MasterCard are better. If you want to pick up a $25, $50 card, whatever you want to give, it's appreciated because they need us. We've got believers that can't get by hardly. And uh, they're struggling just to pay their rent, their lights, and, uh, and if something happens to their car and breaks down, they have no way to fix it. And some of them drive old cars that are threatening to break down at any time. So just be aware of that. And uh, you can send your cards and we'll get them directly to them. And we also have a food pantry for people locally here that need food, need help. This is for believers here in the church. If you're between jobs having a hard time or if you just don't make enough money, you're on SSI or you're on uh, whatever, that's for you. And uh, and if, uh, do we need anything in the food pantry, Bob? There's a list up there. A list back need cereal. I see that the cereal. Need cereal. cereal. Okay. Yeah. Need cereal. Do we need any canned meat like tuna yeah. fish? Need tuna fish. I always need canned meat, so uh, just. Can always use toilet trees also. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. Um, I always use some things that, like she's talking about. So uh, uh, be sure and look into that. 
And don't forget our missionaries down in, in uh, Ecuador. They preach these truths of predestination, election, the sovereignty of God. And they're preaching these, uh, these doctrines to the natives down there. They're trying to start a school so they can teach the children to read Spanish so they can read their Bibles and, uh, in Spanish. So just remember that. And they need our help. We've been able to send them quite a bit in the last few months. And, uh, and I don't guess we have any visitors, do we? Don't see any. All right. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, as we pray, uh, Ken, you want to pray for us, please? Thank you, God, for allowing us to be here this afternoon in your house to further learn of your truth. Continue to be with this ministry, God, as it strives through you, God, to to let the hearers know that you are the sovereign will of God, that you are the sovereign God that caused everything to happen. We thank you, God, for this privilege of being here. Forgive us all of our sins and our shortcomings. And may this message be that we will grow from it. Help the sick and afflicted, God. You know what that problems are. We ask these things in thy name. Amen. I think I'm ready. <clears throat> I went home and slept two and a half hours this afternoon. If I hadn't, I don't know how to make it. Sometimes I'm very tired. I stayed up till three this morning studying. Got up about eight thirty, so and I have a hard time getting by on that little amount of sleep. Now some people, I know some of you say well, five hours is all I need. Well <laughs> not not when you're old and not when you're an asthmatic. You have to have, my doctors tell me to get nine hours every night, and I don't ever get that, <coughs> never. <clears throat> Seven or eight is tops with me. You just can't sleep. You get old, you can't sleep. You just wake up, boing, say, boy, sure, I'm tired. I wish I could sleep more, but you can. That's strange, isn't it?